with Southland Organics. Welcome to our garden. Every year at Southland we have a summer garden and last year we decided it was time to make it a little bigger. And by a little, I mean a lot bigger. Today our garden is just over 20 raised beds and about 1,500 square feet of row crops. So we have herbs, all kinds of peppers. We had lots of squash and zucchini earlier in the summer. They're starting to age out now, so we're working on getting rid of them to get ready for some more exciting fall and winter plants. We also have, if you'll come this way with me, some more peppers. These are all cucumbers, again, getting ready to leave the garden for the summer. On this side, my favorite bed, the bed of mini leafy greens. We did some germination tests at the beginning of the summer in our greenhouse. They ended up, what we thought was all gonna be collards, was cabbage, broccoli, collards. I think there's a couple kale in there, all kinds of stuff. Uh, these are all red noodle peas on the ends of all of these beds. We have some eggplant and some more squash. We have red pole beans. Behind that, a bed of beets. And on this side, some collards, some squash, and some very empty beds ready for some very special guests. But we'll show you the outfill before we talk about that. So if you come this way, we have several varieties of cantaloupe and watermelon on this side. And then behind me is a couple of rows of okra that have done fantastic this summer. And behind that is our tomatoes. And then another favorite of mine, our potato tubs. If you've never seen potatoes grown this way, you can use a tub, a trough, any kind of reservoir, um, anything such as this shape. Put your potato plants in or just some potatoes with some eyes growing on them. When they start to stem up, let them get about this tall and add a little more soil. And do that over and over again throughout the summer. And by the fall, you'll have several tiers of different sized potatoes. We're super excited to harvest those come fall. In the back, we have a couple more of our potato tubs and then a couple of skid steer tracks full of sweet potato vines. Again, very excited to have those. So about those empty beds. One of the things we've been working towards having for a couple of years now at Southland is pumpkins. And we are so excited to put some pumpkins in our garden this fall. We're lucky enough to get those started in our greenhouse here. But if you're starting them on your own, now is the perfect time to get them in their soil. Now, pumpkin seeds need to be planted fairly deep, so you wanna get them about an inch to three inches deep in the soil. And remember, pumpkins are extremely heavy feeders, so you wanna make sure that you condition that soil and fertilize prior to planting, and then after your seedlings start to come up. So like I mentioned before, we are super fortunate to have here a fully functional greenhouse. In this greenhouse, we have, of course, our seedling tables and soil areas, and then we are fortunate enough to have deep water culture, I have pond and aquaculture, NFT tables, as well as hydroponic towers. So to start things in the greenhouse, we have to choose between whether they're gonna be in soil and in the garden or if they're gonna stay here in hydroponics. In terms of our pumpkins, we started them in soil. So all of these are baby pumpkins. They were started just over three weeks ago and as you can see, they're already taking off. These guys are already ready to go in the soil because you don't want them to get more than four to five inches high before you transplant them. Like I mentioned before, Pumpkins are extremely heavy feeders, so it's important that they establish their root system where they're gonna grow to be mature and where those fruits are gonna start growing. So I wish I could tell you what varieties they are, but someone labeled them in Latin. And I don't know Latin, but I do know that we have different types that are for cooking with, carving, and decoration. So we have large uh, yellow and orange pumpkins as well as small yellow and orange pumpkins and then some gourd varieties. So we're super excited to watch all those grow and we are so happy to have you here with us as we follow along with those. 